as well as the standard fair use policy, this video is protected under the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787. Moors are awake. We are taking our place on this planet. Rapper Young Thug will appear in court this morning. The rapper, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams Jr., was arrested Monday on a 56-count racketeering indictment. That indictment alleges his YSL record label is a criminal street gang that has committed murder, assault, and threats of violence. Good days. Mark Teichner has our developing story. He joins us live from the Fulton County Jail, and that's where Young Thug is being held. Mark, good morning. Yeah, being held waiting for that first court appearance, tentatively set for 1130 this morning, uh, as uh, these charges are extremely detailed and very, very serious. You're looking at Young Thug's mugshot. The Fulton County District Attorney claims the rapper, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams Jr., is part of a gang that used violence, drugs, and even murder to make money. Williams is one of 28 suspected members of the Young Slime Life charged with racketeering. He also faces criminal street gang charges. The 88-page, 56-count indictment lists more than 180 acts YSL members allegedly committed going back to January 2013. Williams' name comes up 35 times, including allegedly renting a car that was used in a murder, making terroristic threats while being kicked out of Perimeter Mall, receiving stolen guns, possession with intent to distribute meth, hydrocodone, and marijuana when he was arrested by Brookhaven police, and being part of a traffic stop in which police found numerous weapons, including an AK-47 with a 30-round magazine. The indictment claims Williams used his music, videos, and social media posts to spread YSL's power and territory. According to the indictment, YSL started in 2012 in the Cleveland Avenue area of Southeast Atlanta, but has spread since then. YSL is accused of being affiliated with the Bloods Gang. The indictment says its members identify themselves by using hand signals, tattoos, and clothing with YSL or slime written on them, and often wear red for bloods, green for slime. And Young Thug isn't the only local rapper who is facing charges in this indictment. Uh, Gunna also is being charged with racketeering. Uh, at this point, though, uh, the folks here at the Fulton County Jail have not said if he has been booked in or not. Now, this uh, hearing for Young Thug will take place this morning at 1130. As you can imagine, Fox 5 will be there and we'll let you know how it plays out later on in the day. Reporting live from the Fulton County Jail, I'm Mark Teichner for Good Day Atlanta. Very big story that a lot of folks are going to be watching. Mark, thank you. Okay, so you guys just heard the news story on rap on the rapper named Young Thug and all of the and and the and the indictment that he's involved in charges such as murder, guns, drugs, all type of craziness. So enter exhibit King Abdullah Bay. King Abdullah Bey has decided to represent Young Thug. In his mind, he has fired Young Thug's attorneys and he is now supposed to be the quote unquote person representing Young Thug. Now, I'm not sure why King Abdullah Bey has decided to take up this case in driving a murderous drug dealer makes absolutely no sense. So are Morris Americans involved with gangs? Either way, King Abdullah in his mind, has sent some fictitious paperwork to the real attorneys of Young Thug and to the courts, declaring that they're all fired and that he will now be the person representing them. And I can't, you can't make this stuff up. So let's get into King Abdullah's video where he has declared himself as the new lawyer to represent the murderous, gang-banging, drug-dealing rapper 
named Young Thug. Islam nobles, this is King Abdul Muminil speaking. Uh, today I finished filing my notice of removal to the Fulton County Superior Court. And this is the email that they send back to you when it's accepted. So that's pretty much it for that. So, on the other hand, this is the service of the um, documentation to all of the people who were involved in uh, this corruption of sending Young Thug to prison while he's being set up. I'm looking at the setup, see? I'm like, oh no, you're not going to do this to Young Thug. None of these children, because they are not capable of doing law. They don't, they don't know what's hitting them. So they can't react to know what their lawyers are doing when they're selling them out. So as you can see, this is the notice of removal. Uh, these are the people that got served. And I know they are sick right about now because I gave them notice that they are all being investigated. And I need to do um, questions for them give them interrogatories for the federal criminal investigation because this is no joke when they're human traffic this whole setup is for the whole world but for for uh, the way the lawyers and the judges have it going it's all made up for them to win you can never win and when they want to get you they'll do these they'll they'll use statutes and codes they'll use case law they'll use the constitution of the united states of america which is plagiarized or the name united states is can only be used by moors nobles and it's it's some deep stuff going on right before our eyes so i'm just here to stop it all anyway islam peace and love got a comment from a young uh, somebody that was online that said do I ask he did, he asked did I condone uh, what uh, Thugger is about as far as being involved with the Bloods King Abdullah clearly condones what young Thug is doing in regards to being involved with the Bloods if he didn't he wouldn't be trying to represent this man in the court of law so that, that's an easy question to answer. Yes, King Abdullah clearly condones Young Thug's gang activity. But I do know that the lawyers and judges are the goons. They're the slave masters. You see, the lawyers are the slave masters. The judges are designed to run the slaves. Congress owns the slaves. And uh, the, the police are the slave catchers and the teachers are the slave makers. So this whole thing is made up so that we can never get out of this circle of a monopoly and be slaves. So since you've been taught this garbage in school uh, to go all the way from kindergarten to college or whatever, you've been tricked. You, you were born rich. Y'all, if you know, if you follow me you'll know that I'm talking about the Moorish American Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1787 and our Iroquois Confederation Constitution that shows everything that we have to do. So they can't win. Islam, peace and love, nobles. King Abdul Muminil, out. So King Abdullah Al is so delusional that he believes that all he needs to do is send an email and now he will be able to represent Young Thug. Now, why would he even want to take on that task? Young Thug is part of a gang. That gang has murdered people. They sell drugs. So why would he want to represent such a criminal? That is the question but this man is so delusional that he believes that because he sent this email he now represents young thug i'm sure young thug would have a hell of a problem with that 
I'm sure he's, if he saw this video, first of all, he would want to get King Abdullah Al committed to a mental facility. But in his mind, he would probably be like, why would, why is this guy trying to get involved in my case? I don't even know him. I would never fire my lawyer for this fake YouTube more sovereign citizen lawyer. Young Thug doesn't claim to be a more. He 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 would just laugh at this video if he ever saw it. That he would probably try to put a gag order, or to try to have uh, have his legal team contact um, King Abdullah Al and just tell him to back off. This is ridiculous. It's an absolute joke that this man is so insane that he thinks because he sent the email he got pretty much a receipt back saying that they received the email that he now represents Young Thug. That is an absolute joke. Hey,